Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Unfortunately, it is daytime and I am pole hunting, so I gotta wait until it's nighttime. But in the meantime, I'm going to flop over to this location. Oh yeah, I'm sure you remember this place, the place where I barely missed a pole. Well, barely missed one of the poles that I barely missed. Yeah, it's over here and I'm just going to clear out these enemies ahead of time while I wait for a nightfall to come. I wish that this game had like a, the sun song or something like that, you know, to be able to change it from day to night and stuff like that. But this, the nighttime and daytime thing only really seems to be a problem when you're hunting for poles. Because otherwise, the other events of the game really happen on their own time, so it's really no big deal other than the poles. So I guess that's understandable why they did that, I, I guess. <laughs> it still would be nice to have some way to make it go to nighttime faster, like maybe fall asleep in a house or something like that. Anyway, gotta wait for nighttime. I decided to do something a little bit different because otherwise I'll just be waiting in place and being unproductive and stuff like that. So I'm going north of the place that I warped to at Castle Town. You know this place that I usually go to. Anyway, if you look around here with your senses, it's around here somewhere. I uh, well, I can dig up this spot, I suppose, and get the treasures within. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, I just want to look. Is it in here? I th ah, here we go. This is what I'm looking for, indicated by this big patch of grass here. I can get these anytime just because they're underground. There's two poles in here. Yeah, pole smorgasbord. <laughs> and there's also a bunch of Becky Bobbles as well. First, oh, oh, I, I still got it. <laughs> I thought I just knocked the pole soul out of me or out of my mouth. But I guess not. Oh, how dare you attack me. You may attack me though because I want your soul. And I got your soul. What other prizes are in this cave anyway? I might as well clear out this place and see if there is something of interest, I suppose. And that is not very effective against Bobos. <laughs> uh, that do anything? Or is any treasure chest in here? I don't know. Uh, there's a blue rupee and a yellow rupee, I guess. But those two poles were, of course, the main prize of the area. Stop! <laughs> Stop attacking the rock! Uh, I could attack those nuts for more prizes, so why not? But really, is there anything else besides the poles in here? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> uh, it would be faster if I transform into a human. I just figured I would explore the places if I find them, you know, come across them or something like that. It's, it's so much faster just running while swiping uh, Wii Remote gently. <laughs> There's usually like a, a treasure chest or two hidden in these sort of things. Usually. Not always. Watch it be another rare chew. <laughs> Nah, it doesn't look like it. Well, uh, uh, that was a fun diversion, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Alright, I'm gonna go back and get some other pose. So I will see you at the next location. Whee! Who needs to save the world when you can collect pose souls? Hello there, suspicious patch of grass. I found this so I was just randomly wandering around here waiting for night time. I bet you there is something here. This is up that river in the same area. And hello! What do we have here? A place I have never explored before actually, so this will be interesting. Yeah, I've never found this place on any of my other playthroughs. It's kind of out of the way, which kind of explains why I never found it. I should say why I never, uh... Come on. There we go. 
I didn't want to unleash the other ones until I cleared out those two, otherwise I'll have more on my hands there. I wonder, should I be a human when I do this? Probably. Wow. That, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Aww, it only works if you're not guarding. Oh, come on. Yeah! Sweet! It's a spire infestation over here. Yeah, I've never been through here before. Ever! <laughs> uh, looks like there's some torches to light in this area, which is probably ye old puzzle. Wow, that was really loud rupee. <laughs> wow, I guess that's what happens when you defeat all the enemies, so that's what I heard. It just wasn't on camera. At least I didn't see it on camera. Can you actually pick these all up before they disappear? Yeah. They don't uh, disappear like normal rupees. Interesting. Okay, let's clear some more stuff out, I suppose. See if there's any chests around here, I guess. Yeah! Mm, okay, that was kind of pointless. Oh wait, what am I doing here? I, I don't want to do that. I already got my lantern out. <laughs> and that doesn't help me either. Uh, okay, that's lit. There's one there. I wonder if I should have started from the other side because there is... Yeah, you have to climb up on here to... Oh, uh, guess not. I figured that would take me a little bit longer than if I would have started from that end and just jumped down. Oh! Lovely. <laughs> And what's inside this chest? Probably something I can't pick up. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it then. I guess I could break that. <laughs> oh, and this too. But yeah, that's about it. Alright, see you at the next spot. For realsies this time. <laughs> uh, maybe not for realsies just yet. They're on <laughs> Castle Town. There's some breakable stuff, and this is completely pointless because it's likely only going to give me rupees. I've passed by these a couple of times before, but I never really took the time to do this. Can I break this? Oh, 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 that works. <laughs> yeah, there's some rupees there. This is, as I said, completely pointless unless you need the rupees. And, yeah. Oh, and I know that I could pick up the rupees in the chests that I couldn't pick up if I were to just go in my inventory and put on the magic armor and use it to burn some rupees, but I'm not really aiming to get all the chests outside of dungeons anyway, so it's like, eh, eh, who cares? <laughs> I, it's like, you know, I want to complete the um, dungeon map, like get all the chests off the dungeon map, but if they're not showing on the on the map, it's like, eh, and if they're not important, it's like, eh, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's so many secrets in this game, that it's, it's kind of ludicrous to scour absolutely everything, because you just, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, we're back here at this arena amphitheater thing, whatever the heck it is. And let's get the pole from here, and that seems good enough to me. Now I'm going to warp over here once again, just to save a little bit of time. Because it's nighttime, I really don't want to wait for it to turn nighttime again, because I'm just randomly wandering around the fields, waiting for it to be nighttime, and yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do from here is race to the other side of here. Yeah, I'm gonna scare some people along the way, but it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah! Help me! No! Save me from the doggy! I can't defend myself! <laughs> this dog has passed- I mean, this wolf has passed through town so many times by now, they would think that, I mean, I would think that they would find it harmless by now, but I guess that's not the case. <laughs> anyway, the reason why we're going through here is to scare people. No, really, we have, we have to go through here, and along the pathway, we're going to eventually come across a pole if we keep going, ah, there it is. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Probably not too good because you're dead, but... Well, that's just how things go, I suppose. And there is the next pole. 
Delightful! And now I will see you at the next location. I'm gonna warp over to Kakeriko Gorge for the next one, if you don't mind. And... here we go. There should be a pour on this area, if I recall correctly. It took me a while to remember that there was one. Oh, there it is! It's up by that tree. Okay. I just remember that there was one over here, and I paused the game to make sure I wouldn't keep forwarding time. You know, the time wouldn't keep going, and I do not want it to become daytime while I'm recording this, otherwise I'm gonna have to wait again, as I said. You! Over here! And grab that pozole! Yeehaw! Next spot! Alright, remember the bridge above Lake Hylia? Yeah, this one, the one that they set on fire? Go across it. I'm sure you know how to get here by now if you've been watching the parts. <laughs> and keep going, keep going. You'll know it when you see it. I just started over there just because. <laughs> it was just like to give you an idea of where we are basically when I started this particular spot. Keep going. Look around. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, not you. Uh, I must be coming to it eventually. <laughs> Is this path that long? Maybe. Yeah, I know it's pretty long. Is it around this boulder, maybe? Hmm, I don't remember it being this far. Because, yeah, we end up back at this part of the field, then. And I'm way off track. Although... There's a pole in this area. <laughs> I might as well get that as long as I'm here. So, it's right over here. This would be the other one that I would be getting in... Hello! Come down. Oh, you're gonna be in the way, Karakarok? Eh, I guess not that much in the way. Well, that, that was not the pole that I was looking for, but I got it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Oops, I'm gonna go back the other way and see what I can find. I might have missed it. Uh, where is the thing that I'm looking for? I. Wait, wait, is that? I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. I knew I went too far. Okay, there's this bridge over here, but what I gotta do is transform into a human. See, that's what I was looking for, but it was just higher up than where I could see on the screen. Uh, bomb arrows, so boop, and boop. I go like that. I'm able to claw shot to the perpendicular pooper there. Okay, and let's do it again, so I can get them all down in one shot, or yeah, that works. <laughs> keep going, keep going, I might have to do one more, aren't I? Nope. Not close enough. Like, inches away. <laughs> Actually, it's more like two feet or so. Alright. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't mean to do that, I'm just failing in this particular section left and right. Hey, there's a chest here. <laughs> I forgot about that too. I can't pick this up, but whatever. <laughs> That's there if you need it. Okay, wolf. Sense. Attack. Okay, attack on safer land. I don't want to get knocked off the thing here. Now, oh, whatever. Hey. Now, kill it. There we go. <laughs> And wait, wait, wait a second. One more cave, I guess. And then I'll end off this part because I got all the uh, Hyrule Field ones that I know of. I, I think I got all of them, actually. I'm not quite sure about that, though. I'm gonna have to uh, check just to be sure. And I can't. Wow, these guys are really hard to kill as a wolf. <laughs> that works. Eh, well, kind of. Well, I actually got a lot of HP. 
guess it doesn't matter how much you use to kill them with, they just take a lot of hits. Oh, ice bubbles. I've never been in this cave either, like that spider one before. I never ever <laughs> explored this stuff. I guess I should have done that in other playthroughs, but... I didn't. There's just so much to find in this game. It's so much fun to look around. Come on down here. Come on. Come on. I know you can come down here. I'm in your range now. Or do I have to be up there to fight you? You're gonna be picky and happy. You're gonna make me go up there, aren't you? You know what? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> that works. Now, am I gonna get a prize for that? Probably something I also cannot pick up. Like I said, this game gives you a lot of rupees. And it's an orange rupee. Wow, that's a pretty nice prize. And okay, that is about it, I suppose. Wait, wait is that? Oh, it's just a wall. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell because it's dark in here. Maybe I should have my lantern out or something. I just want to make sure before I leave here if there isn't any other treasure chest, I suppose. I've been having a dry streak with a little chest hidden in the grass lately. <laughs> so I'm just a little too quick to say I'm ending off the part when I'm actually not done exploring this area. Mm. Maybe the only prize was the uh, treasure chest down here? You know, the thing that's up here. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Alright, I'm going to end it off here putting away my lantern. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.